folks. I'm in my local bit of woodland today. It's um, about 10 minutes walk from my front door, which so is really nice. Um, absolutely Baltic today. I think it was minus five degrees last night. Uh, it's about minus two now, so it's, uh, it's really quiet and really pretty. So I'm out today uh, testing a new stove that I've got. It's uh, allegedly the world's lightest stove. It's like 25 grams or something like that. And cost me about 15 pound on Amazon. Uh, and it's made from titanium, or most of it's titanium. So I thought I'd uh, brew up some coffee in the woods and cook my lunch and see how it works. So uh, more details on the stove a little bit later on. My name's John and I make videos on camping, astronomy and walking. If you like what you see in this video then please check my channel out as there may be others that interest you there. But in the meantime let's crack on with today's video. This is part of the local golf course, currently deserted because it's shut down under the latest restrictions. Well I've now got uh, a bit off the path and uh, I reckon I'm going to do my little stove test here. Nobody should see me in here, actually this would make a really good uh, stealth camping spot. Now I've got that Fox One tent uh, that you may have seen the video of. You could pitch it in here and I reckon not be seen. It's warmed up quite a lot now, um, so there's a lot more people around. So I'm um, wearing my camouflage jacket over my duvet jacket or my down jacket. Um, my daughter calls my down jacket a blueberry jacket and it would stick out like a sore thumb here. So um, this camo jacket hopefully will mean that I'm not seen in this little spot. Having a little bright blue rucksack's not exactly helping though. So this is a stove that I normally use and I really like it because it sits low to the ground. The uh, canister, gas canister is attached to this remotely and it's got a pretty wide area to put your pan on. Uh, this thing weighs about 250 grams, packed away into this little box here. But I usually take a, a spare stove with me uh, in case there's a problem with this one. And this is what I wanted to get a very, very lightweight stove for. And this is basically the spare stove here now. It's made by a company called BRS, it's called the BRS 3000T and you can see here it is really really small and it weighs 25 grams. So what I wanted to do with it was see if I could cook a dinner with it because if I can take this as a spare stove and trust it then um, that's pretty good because my current spare stove is about 200 grams so I've saved quite a lot of weight and quite a lot of space. This particular stove is extremely popular amongst uh, Americans doing their sort of long distance paths. I think they call it through hiking. Things like the Pacific Crest Trail and stuff like that where they're walking for six months. They want to minimise weight as much as they can and they would use this sort of thing as their actual standard stove, not a spare. When you get it out of the bag, uh, it does appear to be a little bit floppy, as you can see here, but when put together, it's actually quite rigid. The 
the arms kind of click into place. One of the things I'm interested in with this stove is the area here is actually quite small, the support area, and uh, it's going to be fine, I've got no doubt, on a sort of seven, eight hundred milliliter pot boiling up water. My frying pan is about 20 odd centimetres across, so there's not a lot of supported area there, so that's one possible thing that you need to be aware of. It might be a bit unstable, we'll find out. And the other thing is, is it might generate a hot spot on the pan. I don't know how the, the heat will be distributed. Um, so these are things we'll find out today when I, I cook my lunch. Two things to bear in mind are when you fold the arms out and this little valve here, the valve's got to be in a slightly open position in order to fold everything away. So when you unfold it, you want to make sure that you close that valve, otherwise when you screw it onto the gas canister, you're going to get a bit of gas coming out. And I'm going to be taking care connecting this to the gas canister because I'm not quite sure um, how good the threads are. As I say, most of this stoves made from titanium there's a few bits of steel and a few bits of brass in it um it feels very light the body itself seems to be quite robust but i think you you, you know you have to treat these things with a bit of care um i come from a engineering background and um there's a saying in engineering cheap strong light pick two and this one is light and cheap and wouldn't necessarily be all that strong. So, um, yeah, probably needs a, a little bit of care. going to call that ready in a minute. Well, looks like it can cook a dinner all right. Um, the pan actually heated all the way across, I couldn't touch it on the end. So there probably is a hot spot but it's not too bad. Um, yeah, so I'm quite impressed with that. It was quite unstable though, and it did slide off once when I wasn't paying attention. So you do have to keep your hand on it by the holder, obviously, um, when you're cooking. But I may well end up getting a much smaller frying pan, and I will be using a much smaller gas canister, like a third of the size, to make the whole thing a lot more stable. But yeah, the controllability of the stove on the heat side was really good actually. I'm quite impressed. So um, yeah, I'm going to finish this and then we'll um, see what it does boiling water and have a cup of coffee. Steak and onions, marvellous with a bit of stilton over the top in the woods. Does it get any better than this? I don't know. So what we'll do now is we'll um, boil some water up. There's about 700 mils in here <coughs> for a cup of coffee and see how long it takes. It's going uh, pretty well full blast now with the lid on the, the pot.
marvellous. This spot here would make a good spot for a stealthy wild camp when we're allowed out again, um, especially as it's 15 minutes walk from my house. But the trees above, they're all thin, spindly things. Looks like the um, big trees have already fallen down, so you wouldn't get caught out with deadfall or anything in the summer. Yeah, I reckon it'd be pretty good. This is where I was. So it was a cracking couple of hours in the woods. Uh, nice lunch, nice and quiet, didn't see anybody. Found a nice camping spot, so that's good for the summer. I was quite impressed with the stove. I'm pleased with that. It was only 15 odd quid on Amazon. Weighs nothing, cooked my dinner. Took a little bit of time to um, boil up the water, uh, but we are starting from a really low temperature here. And I'm not normally in a hurry. So whether it takes three minutes, five minutes or six minutes doesn't really make any odds to me. Uh, yeah, so overall I'm quite impressed with that and that will definitely be a, a worthwhile spare. And if ever I fancy doing some sort of ultra lightweight stuff, particularly in the summer, then um, I might just use it sort of as a main stove and not bother with a spare. So on that note, I uh, hope you're all well and I'm going to wind this video up now. So thanks very much for watching. Hope you found it interesting. And I'll see you next time. You take care. Cheerio.